Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Rayyan Arab recording for the Daily Reminder. We are going to leave. We're going to leave our friends, our family, our money. We, we are going to leave our cars, our houses. We are going to leave our prestigious titles and positions. We are going to leave everything. Our clothes, did I mention our clothes? We're going to leave our clothes. And what's going to happen? Our clothes will be either thrown in the garbage or folded and given to a poor person or to other family members. We're going to leave everything and we're going to take with us something. SubhanAllah. When you are being walked to your grave, when you are being walked to your grave after you die, of course, your family will be walking you towards the grave and you will hear their footsteps while you are inside the grave. And you will hear them walking away as well. But what comes with your family? Your deeds. Your deeds come with your family. Your deeds stay. Your family walks away. Your deeds stay. And if they were good, then you see good in the Akhra. Right there on the spot, all you see is something good. But if they were bad, then all you will see is something bad, of course. So, the point that I mentioned this right here is that it's what you left before you left. It's what you leave in this dunya before you leave this dunya. Before you walk out of this dunya, what did you leave? What will you leave? What are you going to leave? What do you plan to leave? What did you leave? These are the questions that have to rise upon us. Now, you can ask yourself this question. What do I do during the day? Do I fast? Do I give sadaqah? Do I feed the poor people? Do I uh, visit the sick people? Do I visit family and relatives? Do I do these things? Or do I not pray? Do I drink alcohol? Do I lie? Do I cheat? Do I steal? Do I do these things? What do I do during the night? Do I go to the masjid? Do I pray Salat al-Isha in the masjid? Or instead, do I go to the nightclub and party with my friends? These are the questions that have to rise so that you can know where you're going to go after you go and what you will leave before you leave. Where you're going to go after you go and what you will leave before you leave. Because it's what you left before you left. One day a man was in the masjid of a mall and he saw another man not praying. It was, it was uh, salah time, it was prayer time and everybody was praying. But this other man was in his shop and he was selling whatever or sitting down and fixing things. But he didn't want to pray. So after this man prayed, who was praying, he went to him and he asked him, Why didn't you pray with us? The man responded, as if, you know, I don't care. So he kept trying with him and he tried to convince him that prayer is good for him and that he should pray right now. After a long time of trying, what happened? He convinced him finally and he got the man to perform ablution and to pray. When the man started praying, he said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Sami Allahu Liman Hamida, Allahu Akbar, and he prostrated to the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. When he put his head down on the floor, he never lifted it back up again. That was his last prostration in his life. He passed away right there on the spot. He left something before he left. He left something good, of course, but he didn't know that he was going to leave that. Just a few minutes ago, he was a disobedient human being. He didn't want to pray and he didn't really care about praying. But after he got convinced, he prayed and that was his last prayer in this world. And he probably went to Jannah because of that prayer. Allah wanted good for him. But this is a rare case. This doesn't mean that I should do what he did. I should not pray and not do good and wait for somebody to come to me so that I can do good. This is a rare case. It may not happen to you. How do you know when you're going to die? How do you know where it's going to happen? How do you know how it's going to happen? How do you know why it's going to happen? We don't know. So what should we do? We should work really hard for the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal and leave something big in this dunya before we leave this dunya. Let me just wrap it up with this story of Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman. Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman was a friend of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. At the last days of his life, when he got really sick, he told his family and friends, do not exaggerate in buying me expensive death clothes. They said, why? He said, because if I am good and if I die as a good person, then Allah will replace me with the cheap 
clothes that I tell you to buy with something good. But if I die as a bad person, then Allah will take those expensive clothes and take it away from me and give me something bad. And it'll just be a waste of money. Look at this man, how he thinks. He's wise, he's intelligent, he's smart. Just a moment before he dies, this is what he says. And then he asked him, he said, what time is it? They said, it is one hour before Fajr prayer. He said, he said, I seek refuge with Allah from a night in this life, in this world, and a morning in the hellfire. And then he asked Allah Azza wa Jal to have mercy on him. And he said, Marhaban bil mawt. Welcome to death. Hello, death. And he passed away right there on the spot. May Allah be pleased with him and may Allah have mercy on him. He is a man who left something big in this world before he left this world. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, loved him so much that he used to trust him with his secrets. SubhanAllah. What are you going to leave in this world? What did you leave so far? Are you going to continue to leave something or is that it? Did you have enough? Are you ready to change and do, do bad as you used to do in the, in the past? No. Let's change the mentality, the way we think. Let's have that intention where we want to leave something big in this life after we leave this life. Jazakumullah khairan. Thank you for listening. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.